There's nothing like the smell of fresh cut grass. Not every day you see a lawnmower with tracks. And it's made to off-road. People are passionate about outdoor equipment. Get this, Americans spend more than $20 billion a year on gear. But no one ever really sees how their stuff gets made. Well, that's where we come in. Each week, we throw open the factory doors and give you a behind the scenes look at how your favorite gear is made. Made for the outdoors. I'm seeing red. Grass never quits growing. I'm sure many can relate. Weekends are always busy. We've got to get the lawn mowed. Maybe cut a few new ATV trails. These Elto's mowers can pretty much go anywhere. Let's see how they're made for the outdoors. This is the power equipment industry's first tracked zero-turn mower. The TRX is relatively new to the market, but the company producing it has 30 years of engineering and manufacturing experience. Altos is owned by the same family as Central Boilers Outdoor Furnaces, and both are produced at this facility in Greenbush, Minnesota. You know, we come from a, a little community, but the heart is here, the heartland. <laughs> the concept is the brainchild of a farmer turned entrepreneur, Dennis Brazer. It delivers way more than it promises. It can do amazing things and it, it's smooth and it's, uh, it's really sure-footed. This place is huge, 300,000 square feet. Let's get a tour. To give some comparison, this place could house six football fields. And some employees drive from department to department. The people that work here are absolutely wonderful. Salt of the earth, good-hearted people. They put their whole, their whole heart and soul into what they do here. These mowers are steel strong. We go through a lot of steel. Daily basis, we get three to four truckloads of steel, which is, you know, 50,000 pounds. And the first step of the process is all of this steel is made into the frame, decks, and front ends. And that happens here in the machine shop. Each day, seven lasers pierce through thousands of pounds of steel making small and large parts. So we can cut a lot of steel in a day. And there's anywhere from 150 to 400 parts on each sheet. Next, the small cuts are bent to shape. Nothing but good time. Chad is one of eight press brake operators. Make that nine for today. How much pressure are we so talking? This last bend was 7.3 tons. 7.3 tons. Perfect 90. The deck of the mower is bent with this robot called Mercedes Benz. These suction cups make lifting 100 pounds look easy. It's capable of lifting 160 kilos, 320 pounds. The robot is just an ideal application. It's getting to be more and more common in manufacturing and it's an ideal solution to, to bending the decks. You can see the flexibility in the robot to be able to position it and, and bend this effortlessly. 
Then parts both large and small are sent off to welding. Every spark, a work of art. 20 welders chasing those pretty blue lines. For our next step, we need somebody strong, really strong. Thank God you're here, Lindsay. Hey, I'm glad I could help out. Welcome to the paint department. This is our front axle for our XE and XR models. It roughly weighs about 40 pounds. So I am in charge of grabbing that, hoisting it up, and putting it on the line. Oh, one hook. One down. Two down. And a workout in over here in the paint department. about you, but I need a break. Stay with us, powder coating is next on Made for the Outdoors. Welcome back to Made for the Outdoors and Alto's Mowers in Greenbush, Minnesota. We're in northwestern Minnesota, way up there in the corner. We feel like coming to work every day is like being with family, being with friends. This family owned and operated business has more than 200 employees. Many who have a hand in crafting the TRX Zero Turn Mower. Well, it's a pretty intriguing product and it's, uh, it's really fun. We'll focus more on the tracks in a bit, but first it's time to suit up. Time now to powder coat. Slowly, each front axle makes its way down the line and through the powder coat booth. I'm seeing red. Almost missed the spot. This is the cool thing about powder coating. I may have made a little mess, but back to white. Parts then bake and cool and continue down the line. And after about 30 minutes of baking in the oven, our parts are finally done. They look nice. Time now for assembly. In this department, we have 24 employees. Their job duties range from assembling the mowers to doing all the sub-assemblies. The tracks run because of these little wheels. Final department is the mower assembly line. From here, the material handling team brings in our parts, and we take our parts from here all the way to the end. Motorheads, this is what you've been waiting for. James installs the transmission, and Dylan lowers in the engine. One by one, down the line it goes. Jacob does the front tires, Bob wires, Derek specializes in brakes, Brandon and JD install the seats and ROPs. This is an awesome crew to work with. There's the top of the top. And a lot of these guys are highly trained in the torques, running our impulse tools. In the final stretch, that's where it gets exciting. That's where we start to install the 11 inch wide tracks. Forget tire. I want track. Yeah. Install some Loctite on the studs. Oh, oh my gosh. Brady. Brady you guys you. are playing tricks on me. <laughs> In reverse, Brady. Where's Brady? Take two, here we go. That's a lot better. We're gonna roll this track on. Beautiful. They're on. Quality control checks everything, including two seven gallon gas tanks and console controls. So the TRX is done and she looks good, but will she start? She's 
She's on the crate. Time now to ship her out. One machine, one day, three jobs complete. First the lawn, then we cut some ATV routes, and lastly, we groom the deer trails, leading right to my deer stand. It would be the sportsman's dream to have one of these machines in their hunting camp. And it's exciting to see something like this working out there in the field for the customers. Made to off-road and made for the outdoors.